Hello everyone! So, a new video again of all the games that I've been playing lately. I play so many games and I love it and you love it too. Video games are so fantastic. It is the best way to relax. It's the best thing in the world when you are getting home from work or anything like that. Just out of the shower. Just such a me time. And I have been playing some really good ones this time. The first game that I want to talk about is actually, surprisingly, Sniper Elite 3. Now, it was on sale on the Switch and I have had my eyes on it, but this time the sale was too good, so I just had to pick it up. Sniper Elite 3 is a third-person tactical shooter stealth game by Rebellion Developments. It is actually a 2014 game and it is set in Africa. I have never really played a sniper dedicated game before that is, you know, dedicated for sniping stuff. I love first-person shooters, but this is more heavily focused on sniping from a distance. So... I also bought Sniper Elite 2, but I have completed number 3. You know, I beat that game and it was fantastic. I did not get bored playing that game at any point. Maybe also because it is, like I said, my first true sniper game. So it was sort of something new for my brain to take in, I guess. So the game is map based. So you play through missions on certain maps and each map have different environments and objectives that you have to complete. They can be like infiltrate the fort, infiltrate the base, save a hostage or something like that. And when you have played the mission, you are out in the menu sort of again and you can change your loadout, which means you can unlock weapons and upgrade your scope or you know your handle on your sniper rifle and you also have some other helpful items such as grenades landmines i love placing down a landmine and then watch a car go over it and you also have like dynamite and all sorts of things and it's a stealth game so you gotta you know be stealthy i love it I would actually like to say that Sniper Elite 3 is very satisfying, but it is also very short. But I regret nothing. I loved every second of it, but I beat it in eight hours. But I didn't 100% collect all the collectibles on each map, so you know there's that. With that included, I would say the game is probably 15 hours. I don't know. Highly recommend Sniper Elite 3, especially number 3. 2 is also good, but number 3 is just better, in my opinion. And it also has the lovely gyro aiming controls. Now, another game that I've been playing, and this is the game that I'm most looking forward to talk about, finally, on my channel, and that is Ghost of Tsushima. I used to say Tsushima, but I think it is pronounced like Tsushima. The Ghost of Sushi, and uh, it is a PS4 exclusive. I mean, if you don't have a PS4 by now, this game could maybe be a console seller for you because it is so good. It's kind of hard to describe how good this game is because uh, you gotta have to feel it for yourself good feeling. I gotta say that the combat is so good in this game. It is so much fun when you have played Ghost of Tsushima to the point where you have everything nailed into your muscle memories in your hands, if you know what I mean. Because the combat is so much set up to you switching stances the way that you hold your sword throughout the game, you know. Some stances are good against swordsmen and some are good against shieldsmen and spearmen and brutes. When you're into that flow and you have that in your hands, you know, the muscle memory of the game, where everything goes automatically, sort of. The combat is just a dance. So satisfying. But not only that, I mean, the combat, they nailed it. But I'm really fascinated with the world. And I've always had a thing for open world games, it seems like, uh, considering I loved Assassin's Creed Origins as much as I did earlier this year. Yeah, I was late to playing that game, but I discovered that game also this year, you know. It is kind of Assassin's Creed Origins all over again for me now. I'm not completely done with Go 
most, but I have gotten quite far. I just love to explore the open world and go to every single location and complete every single location on the map. I love that. I love that formula in games. The story is great. The Mongols are invading the Japan island of Tsushima and you are one of the last samurai and you're gonna take back your island. But the cutscenes are so gorgeous and the story is easy to follow along to as we like. I can only praise this game so far. The only thing that I don't like about the game, kind of nitpicky thing, that is the camera angles sometimes get stuck in, you know, the environment in the heat of the moment of the combat, but that is really nitpicking. You can also spec your character to your playstyle. I don't think I can explain that better than that. But you can, you know, spec your character to be a really sneaky, sneaky archer or just full on samurai. There are a lot of different pieces of clothing, hats, loving the hats. <laughs> the game is just really good at making you feel powerful. Sucker Punch did really good with Ghost of Tsushima because I feel like they put really high on the list the priority to give freedom to the player. I'm all about open worlds and freedom to the player. I gotta say they did good. You can trust me on this. Ghost of Tsushima, really, really excellent, solid game. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the game of the year for a lot of people. Now another game that I've been playing on my beloved Switch. That is actually Borderlands 2 and pre-sequel. Yeah, I bought them for my third time in my life. But I knew I was going to go back to Borderlands because I've always been drawn back to Borderlands. Now, these games I have already played way back in the day on my PC. And then later I played both of them again on my PlayStation 4. And now I have them for my third time on my Switch. I mean, that gotta say something about a game series. I just really love playing the Borderlands games. And if you're wondering which of the Borderlands games I find to be my favorite, for a long time it was pre-sequel, but after number three last year, I think I enjoyed number three <laughs> extremely much. Maybe that is my favorite Borderlands, but they are, they are all good. They're all really solid. The port of these games to the Switch is really smooth. So, smooth port. That is what to be expected. These games also has online multiplayer. So, you know, I like to sit on the couch and jump into a random online multiplayer event, you know. Co-op. I'm not talking about PvP. I'm talking about jumping into the game, which is sort of like an open, open world game. Several open areas, let's say, that are connected with loading screens. But the areas are big and they have side quests on them, objectives and a main quest somewhere in there and you can jump in multiplayer and do that main content of the game together with whichever player is online at that moment. So it is a mindless game and I love it. I just lose track of time when I play Borderlands and the funny thing is that I've already played these games to death on my PC and PS4, but I'm not tired yet. I like to go back sometimes, and I'm really happy to see that the ports are solid. That is maybe something that you can put on your wish list and wait for a sale, maybe. Now, I am guilty <laughs> of playing and buying another game for my third time in my life. Do you guys often do this? Buy a game several times? Keep coming back to the same freaking games. I do that. I find myself doing that. And this time it is Diablo 3. Surprisingly enough, I guess, because I thought I was done with this game, finally, after playing the Eternal Collection on the PlayStation 4. Turns out I am drawn back into the game. I had it on my wish list, and that is like the title of my life. I had it on my wish list. And it was on sale. I played Diablo 3 in 2012 on the PC, and I played as a wizard. I love my wizard and I play the game to death online with a bunch of people with friends you know obsessed and then on PS4 some years later I got it I got the I think it was eternal collection I got that for Christmas maybe 2015 I don't know and I played that to death and that time I played a bounty hunter and some other characters I don't remember but the thing is the replayability of Diablo 3 
is insane. It is so much fun because there are so many classes and all of the classes are unique and they play differently. So let's say I played on PC my wizard, on PS4 my bounty hunter, and now on the Switch I'm touching in on a class that I've never tried and that is the Necromancer. The Necromancer is amazing. Wow, it is so overpowered. I'm pretty sure it's probably the most overpowered class in the game or something. Because you leech life off the enemies. And when you have killed a monster and the corpse lies on the ground, you hit a button and the corpses explode. It's like a firework on the screen. And it is so powerful. I love it. So that is what I'm bed gaming. I'm totally bed and morning gaming, you know, evening bed gaming and morning bed. It's something new that I've started. A morning bed gaming. The first thing when I wake up, I lie in bed and play, you know. And Diablo 3 has been my evening game and morning gaming in bed uh, for the past week, I want to say. And in the living room on my PS4, I play Ghost. You know, sometimes I think about non gamers and I can't for the life of me understand what they do with their lives. So those are the games that I've recently been playing. Some Switch games and Ghost on PS4. Now I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. In some upcoming videos I'm gonna talk more about Paper Mario Origami King, but uh, spoiler alert on my opinion on it, I'm not impressed. I loved Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64 and on GameCube, but something went wrong from there. I also like the Wii Paper Mario. You know, something happened after Sticker Star and I'm not gonna forgive them for that. <laughs> There's no incentive to fight. There's no leveling system, no experience points. Right now, kind of score, I can say Paper Mario Origami King is getting a 5 out of 10 from me. Because it's pretty, the graphics are good and the music is also really nice. Okay, so I have something cool to show you guys. I have actually for a long time been looking for a portable monitor because I am all into going to my neighbor in game, going to my mom's place in game, and sometimes they don't have a TV for me, so you know. And I gotta have a cool portable system for playing my Switch or even PS4 or PS Vita actually, or any console that goes with an HDMI. So this company on Amazon sent me this portable monitor. I have now used it for a few weeks so I can confirm now to everyone that it works and I'm very happy with it. I've been bringing this over to neighbor Stefan's place and you can see that set up here and you know I have been playing switch games on it and I've also just out of curiosity I tried to play the PS Vita as in PlayStation TV with this portable monitor because I was thinking that is a really portable TV home console system, if you know what I mean. And I still have some games for my PS Vita that I haven't beaten, so that is nice. I just bring this with me and I brought it with me to the family cabin also so that my mom could watch me play Paper Mario Origami King. Uh, on this little thing. I'm gonna say thank you so much for sending me this. It is a Lepov uh, portable monitor. It needs to be uh, plugged in to work, but you can also have it work, you know, totally wirelessly with your phone as the power source. It comes with a good sleeve and I can totally recommend it because I have been using it and it's really good. The screen is good. Link to that in the description and uh, yeah, in the description. Okay, I'm gonna end the video now. So um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. And I will see you later. Let's do another outro this time. How did it go? Okay, who am I now? So I thought I would just come in here and tell you about these games. And yeah, so I just uh, came in here. So yeah, anyways, uh, guys, um, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>